In this section, we're going to show you some pick and roll plays that start with a baseline inbound situation. Then once you get the ball in, you're setting up your pick and roll actions from there. Okay, so with this out of bounds play here, the first thing that we're looking to do is obviously we're gonna to try to get the ball inside the five here, uh, posting up in front of the rim. If not, we'll have some action to get the ball inside and then to set up a ball screen action. So if one can't just directly throw it in here to five, we've got two screening for three, who's coming out here to the wing, and then four screens for two coming out to this corner. So lob's not here, we're gonna throw it up here to uh, three in the corner. So once the ball's inbounded to three, five and four are both gonna come in and set a stagger screen for one. So one comes up to the top. Once one catches, obviously if one can catch and drive it, you'd wanna go ahead and do that. But another option that you would have here is for four to screen for five. So five sprints up to the top of the key and sets the ball screen for one. So let's show the, the ball screen action here with five. Five sets the screen for one. One's gonna attack the basket, five rolls. Remember that anytime a post player rolls, the opposite post should replace. So four comes to the top, three slides to the corner here. And again, you've got several options to choose once one has the ball and comes off and looks to attack the basket. Okay, so in this play here, we're gonna start it with a little floppy action from out of bounds. Five and four screening here for three. Now you can have two and three cross, but just for illustration purposes, we'll have two come off of five, we'll have three come off of four. One's gonna pass it in to, uh, to two here. Now on that pass, one immediately will sprint in and set a back pick for five. So five now rolls to the basket and one steps out. Obviously, if you can hit five going to the basket, you can do so. But if you reverse it to one, we're gonna set up a ball screen at the top of the key. So let's continue the play here. One's got the ball, four's gonna sprint over and set the ball screen for one. One's gonna come off the screen and look to attack. If four's a shooter, you'd rather have four fade here in this situation versus roll to the basket. So one could kick back here to four and if four doesn't have the shot, five could step in and post up and you can even get a high low look here. Okay, so here's the same floppy action off out of bounds. Again, five's gonna screen for two, four's gonna screen for three. They both pop off the screen here. One makes the pass here to two. Now in this situation, one's gonna go opposite of the ball, and now we're gonna set up a side screen situation with either five sprinting out the screen or five screens for four, and four sprints into the screen and sets the ball screen. Okay, so we've cleaned up the diagram here so that we can show you the spacing on the floor. Four sets the ball screen here for two, two comes off the screen. Again, four can roll, four can pop. Five here can either lift up and come outside, can duck into the lane here, or step away towards the short corner area, giving room for uh, two for the penetration to either kick out or if five's defender steps up, uh, two can just lob it up or just make a bounce pass to five here for a layup.